Good afternoon. My name is Scott Redler, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com. Welcome to today's recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，欢迎收看今天的直击美股。我是主持人张叔，在纽约向您问好。周一美股涨跌互现，我们看到今天道指又是重新刷新了它的最高值，并且是连续六天的上涨。可以说，当特朗普呃竞选总统成功之后，股市的表现确实让人有些惊讶，特别是道指的表现。而看到今天，包括像高盛等股票是上涨的非常的猛烈，也是引领了整个市场的上涨。主要原因是在现在当前为止，像特朗普他也是逐渐的在理清他的一些政策，其中就包括了放宽对银行的监。管，相信这一消息对于整个银行板块来说会是一个非常积极的消息。另外一方面，我们看到今天包括像标准普尔和纳斯达克综合指数也是受到了主要是科技板块的拖累。在这个板块当中，今天苹果是下降了零点四个百分点，而其中的 Fan Stock 也就是四大所谓的科技股表现最好的股票，包括像脸书，包括像呃谷歌等等，表现都并不是非常良好，而这也是拖累这两大股指的重要原因。今天虽然没有非常重要的经济。数据发布，但是市场依然在继续的跟进，包括像目前美国的一些大选后的形势，以及包括像在未来一段时间美联储的加息状况。今天有两位联储官员出来讲话，其中联储官员与市场沟通的主要信号，主要是为了给市场以更多的信息，十二月会否加息。而到目前为止，我们看到十二月加息的可能性依然很高，特别是在上一周，联储的副主席 Fisher 出来表示，当前美联储离下一次加息。已经非常临近的时刻，相当于现在对于十二月的加息来说，预期是非常高的。我们在十二月份很可能会看到今年唯一一次的加息。好的，更多的消息，让我们来看一下今天的教育员访谈。Hi Scott, Dow posted like six day winning streak, and we see some strengths in bank sector and also bio and small caps. Well, are we going to see an extension of this all time high, or we're going to take a rest here? At this point, traders do not want to feel like they're chasing some of these sectors that have had explosive moves.、Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean it's a short either. You know, the Dow Jones did make all-time highs, and it's good to see. Maybe that'll help retail investors get a little comfortable because they like to see headlines. They'll feel like they missed something. But hopefully, they've been involved because if you've been involved before an all-time high, every price you have underneath it makes you money.、And、if you look here at the diamonds, the diamonds cleared this descending channel, you know, channel right here, held above it. And took out resistance, and that's healthy action. I know there's only 30 down names, but you know, nice, nice move there. Okay, we've seen a lot of strength. Strength in what? The industrials, the industrials, the XLI. Look at that move. Cleared its descending trend line here, held above it, cleared all-time highs, and went. But it's extended from the eighth day, so it needs to let some catch-up happen. You've seen a nice move in the financials. Let me just show you J.P. Morgan, which we always talk about best in breed, almost parabolic. Okay, so right now, at this point, you've had a five-day move in most of these financials. At this point, if you missed it, you missed it. But it doesn't mean it's a short. Some guys started shorting the financials here, and they got blown out of the water. I would just let the moving averages play a little catch-up. But overall, healthy action. Um, on the other hand, in your morning note, you said that you also look forward to the all-time highs in S and P. But right now, we see some weakness in tech sector. Is that a concern to you? Because all the fan stocks are falling right now. Well, if you're in the Fang stocks, which I'm not in, but、um, I, I think we need to see some stabilization in tech and maybe even oil、mm -hmm. in order to have the S and P make a move to its all-time high.、Mm -hmm. So I'm looking for setups, and that's what you have to do as a trader now. And if you look at the S and P cash, you will see that it too broke, okay, above this descending channel here, took back the 50-day, took back the 8 and 21-day, showed some commitment, and now it's doing it again. So the question is, can this continue to hold above? 2151, okay, or 2145. If so, the next move I do think is going to be north of 2193, and we're going to see 2200. I think with all the strength we see out there, it's just a matter of time. Remember, post Brexit, first move was up, showed some commitment to it, and then boom, here was your first move up. Now you're seeing some commitment above this trend line. Hopefully, the next move is to the upside. But in order for that, we need to see oil, which found maybe a bottom today, okay, or you know, a red dog reversal. I think if, if USO put its low in, okay, and bounces back maybe and reclaims the eight-day, that would be good. And then also, like you mentioned, tech's been really weak. Okay, it's going to be hard for the for the the, the S and P to make new highs if this 200-day in the Qs gets violated for more than a few sessions. So let's see if this area holds in the Qs. On the other hand, the metals had a down. Right now, we didn't see any sign of that coming. So how do you think about like gold? 
Well, gold gave me a good trade in, to start the year when it was mm -hmm. above all the moving averages, but then, you know, I put out my post-election report mm -hmm. and said to sell the GLDs and sell the GDX. Okay, and if you look at the GLD, you had a chance. On Wednesday, look at that. Look at this move right into resistance. The GLD hit 124 and sold down. Even if you didn't sell it on the open, you weren't sure, but an engulfing move like this is your time to sell it. So at the end of the day, hopefully you made a decision. And then it broke here, broke the 200 day, now it's all the way down there. And to me, the miners and the metals are broken. Okay, the, the, the miners broke its trend way before. Okay, the, the miners broke the trend after a nice move to start 2016 right here and then basically got rejected again. Today you had a small bounce, so, so maybe you see a bounce, but I think it's a bounce to be sold into this area. If you think you could be cute, you know, you're long today, selling up open, but at this point this trend is, is, is broken and you have to be very careful in the metals and the miners. Okay, that's all we have for today. Yes, and we'll have more all week and there should be a lot of action, so make sure you tune in. 好的，感谢您的收看，我们明天再见。